everybody, it's Wendy with Weejo. I'm down here at 1037 Main Street, Honesdale, PA. And I am going to be working tonight on this cute little witch's hat that my husband cut out of Birchwood. If you have any questions, um, comments, anything, let me know you're here. I'm hoping to see comments tonight. Sometimes I can't. I have had an absolutely fun day today. Two friends stopped in, Lori and Trisha, and we got to play with... Um, some crafting and we did a little session back here and it was lots and lots of fun and I was so thankful that they were able to stop in. But now it's just me because Lori won't go on camera and I have this super adorable, I'll show you the back, super adorable witch's hat that my husband has been cutting. I have a whole bunch of these coming in this weekend for the drop-ins that start next week and I have started it already when they were here. I went ahead and put some decoupage on Hey, Sheila, how are you? I put some decoupage on. I use Decoupage Queen's um, All Hallows Eve, which is this pretty little paper right here. This is just fantastic. It's got like, is this the one I used? Yes. It's got this little lady with the moon. It's got skulls. It's got everything. It's right up my alley. So that's the paper that I, I used. And um, I just kind of wet it around. And kind of laid them on here in just a random way, just to play with it. And this will be the display that'll be here. These are about a foot by foot, so they're not super big. And he's got these cute little pumpkins that he's cutting too. This one's smaller, and then he's making me a little bit bigger one, so you'll have two choices. Oh my gosh, Sheila, my suitcase is gonna be so heavy bringing this stuff. Okay, so I'm falling off my stool, sorry. We had so much fun today that I'm just like, what am I going to do now? So I'm going to go ahead, put the camera down so you can see the project. And we're going to start playing. So the drop-ins, they are cute cutouts. They're just something fun to do. You know, you can put it up on a mantle. You can put, um, I can drill a hole through it for you. And you can put it on your you know, with a little ribbon and you can hang it up. There's so many different things you could do with them. You can stack them. So you can do a pumpkin and a hat and you can like do the pump the hat off, you know, pumpkin like, like kind of off the hat maybe. Hey Linda, he is. I haven't seen you in a while Linda. I hope everything's going well for you. And he is doing fantastic. So I base painted this in fluff. I added my decoupage papers with the satin clear coat. And now I am going to use some of the kudzu. I really like this green. And I think green is fun for a witch's hat. I almost used black. I do have black here for something though. I would consider marrying if they were a carpenter. <laughs> that is so funny. Linda, I can't wait to see you. So um, if you've on my email list, you've got the email information first regarding the drop-ins. They start next week and you'll be able to come in there's a couple of different prices. You can do different crafts. You can do journaling. All sorts of different random fun things. And I'll be doing an actual full-on email um, over the weekend regarding them to give a little bit more um, explanation. And they're Wednesday through Friday. So I'm just going to go ahead and get some green on here while I'm talking. They're Wednesday through Friday. For right now, we don't have any night classes as of yet. We're just trying to get scheduling all figured out. I'm gonna do journals. Do one of these. I already have um, one of my customers booked and I can't wait to see her because I haven't seen her in so long. So that's gonna be fun. And there, I call them drop-ins because if my schedule's not booked and you pop in and say, hey, is the table open? And I'm like, oh yeah. You can literally just come back and craft. And I seat up to three back here. I think I might be able to seat four now because when Trish and um, Lori were here, we kind I kind of rearranged my seats. So I might be able to get four. That's kind of exciting. Hey, Jeanette, Janet, how are you? Hi, Chris. If you guys are down in Rhine, Janet has a store down there too. She does Dixie Bell as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep doing my kudzu. 
Now you guys know I sell two different paints. Kudzu is from the Dixie Belle line. It is this absolutely fabulous green. The fluff is the Dixie Belle line. My papers this time, of course, um, almost every time, is um, Decoupage Queen. I love Decoupage Queen papers. They're just so pretty. So I'm just gonna keep doing my green here. And I'm just kind of pushing it down. One of these days I'll figure out how to do a live where you can see my face and the craft. Don't hold out hope though. It could be a while. I'm, I'm good with technology to a point. All right. Kudzu, kudzu, kudzu. Kudzu, kudzu, I, I don't know, I kind of like kudzu better. One of my um, good customers, Eileen from Eileen's Vintage Finds, she's um, Antiques and More or whatever it's called. She's up on 191 by Rileyville. I had not ever used this color. This is one of her favorite greens, and I can absolutely see why. I love this green. Okay. I have a little table in the front that I did in this pretty green. And then I did the pickle and whitewash over the top. And it just came out really pretty. So I am going to use Pankator's Crust. Everything that's in this store that I sell, you can mix and match. Especially when you're back here, you're going to use all my own products. Um, you just buy like this little piece. You might buy a decoupage paper. Any of the stenciling, any of the paints. You just use my stuff. Which makes it fun. I have this theory. I'm not leaving my live, by the way. I'm technically still here. I have this theory that we all want to craft. We just sometimes need somebody to craft with, right? So what better way to do it than at a craft store? Yes, kudzu, we are covered with it down in the south. Kudzu, what, is, what actually is kudzu? I just thought it was a color. It's So it's actually a thing? Like it's something other than a color? So I'm gonna take a little bit of the crust and I'm going to mix it in, but I want my Baltic Black, not my green. I'm using the Pankator Baltic Black. And I'm going to do a Ray stencil. Because I love Ray stencils. They're just so pretty. All right. We played with the Pankator's, up, what is it called? Up in Smoke, Sheer Smoke today. It's like an antiquing glaze. It was very pretty. I might pull it out for this. All right, I got a little bit extra paint in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit extra crust in there. And if you hear any singing, it's my store neighbor. He's, he's singing again. <laughs> it's always fun. <gasps> All right. Maybe a little bit too much mix, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna take a stencil that I have here and I think I'm going to pull it down off the top. And I have a lot of the transfers, which are going to be cut up, and you'll be able to use them as well. But I'm just going to use a transfer stick, because why not, right? And I'm just going to shove it in there. It was funny. They were crafting, and I was kind of helping, watching, um, giving ideas, whatever. I had set this up and I wasn't able to do anything else with it, and even though I wanted to because I wanted to do it on a live. That was hard. When you see other people crafting and you're like, oh, I want to craft too. But you can't. You got to hold off because you got to be a responsible adult. All right. 
So now we have this cool little raised stencil on here. All right, so we're, no, we're gonna learn what kudzu is. A little extra. It's a vine known as mile a minute because it grows a mile a minute. Oh. It's a vine that ate the south. So it's very similar to our morning glories here. We have morning glories, and if you plant those, they just eat everything up. They've they'll ruin your roses. They'll just take they'll take over everything. So it's like the same concept. I'm not a gardener, so I got a little bit here, but I got a little extra, so I'm just gonna pop the extra off with my fingers. All right, now I'm getting it on my hands and I can't wipe it on my pants. So now I got that. And I think I'm gonna do a little, well, no, I'm not gonna do any down on the, but yes I am. I'm gonna do some down on the bottom, just to kind of even it out. I think I'm gonna do it down here, just in this little section between these pieces. and across the bottom, just to kind of even things out a little bit, make it a little bit more symmetrical. I think that's the word I'm looking for. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Yeah, that definitely sounds like our morning glories, Janet. That's that's a hot mess too here when those morning, they just take over everything. They are no fun. Excuse me. All right, so now I'm gonna put that off to the side because I don't want to do any more stenciling. And I'm just gonna kind of pull this little extra off the bottom. Bite my hands off a little bit. So now I have just this fun little hat thing going on with some stenciling, a little bit of decoupage. And I'm going to go ahead and move that out of my way before I wear it because we all know I will do that. And I'm gonna put a little bit of the Baltic Black. And I think a little bit of the green, kudzu, which we now know we do not want as a plant ever on anywhere. And I'm gonna kind of like mix them together here. So I'm gonna just dip into the black. I'm using the same brush. And I'm just gonna pull it around and then I'm gonna grab the green and kind of blend it in. These are just such fun, easy, simple crafts. You can do it in a day an hour or two, you can get as elaborate as you want. As fancy, as not fancy, as simple, they're just fun. turn on my heat gun really quick just to dry a little bit of the stencil up I love raised stencils I think everybody needs to get um, do all sorts of raised stencils on everything I think it just makes everything pop a little bit and it's just pretty so I'm just gonna dry this crust really quick just the top layer crust takes a little while to dry um, but if you try at least the top layer, you can keep moving on your project. Which is kind of handy. Because you want, you want to be able to keep working on it when you're here or at home, but not compromise it. You know, if that makes sense? Makes sense in the head. Did 
this when you're drying. Um, so Dixie Belle, you can dry really easily with the heat guns. You just have to be careful with the paint couture because it could possibly bubble up. Keep it moving. Don't ever let it sit in one spot. That way you don't, the paint doesn't bubble up on you. You don't really have that if, that issue with Dixie Belle because it's chalk mineral, whereas the paint couture is an acrylic. All right, turn that back off so you can turn your video up, your sound back up now. I apologize for that. It's dry enough. It's good enough. So I'm just going to do a little bit of the stenciling in here just to kind of get it to match out a little bit. It's gonna mess my stencil up because I'm kind of pushing this a little bit, but that's okay. You'll still see it. You'll still get the idea. Maybe I should have done a little bit of work on this beforehand. Oh well. These things happen on live. You can't control them. You can try. It never happens. Okay, well that's just gonna be a crusty top hat. That works too. You just go with it, it's just paint. I got the shaky table going on here. All right, so that's what we have so far. Just a cute little hat. Little witch's hat, and see up here where it wasn't dry at all, and I ended up um, not taking long enough to dry it, and now I just have like a little crusty top hat. That's fine, that works. So then we worked with the green iris a little bit today, and I fell in love all over with it. Green iris is one of the pearl metallics from Paint Couture. This stuff is absolutely a beautiful. I sort of forgot how pretty it was. Look how iridescent it is. I think I told Lori it was kind of like a um, 1980s prom dress where it's like color, one color one minute and another color the next minute. I think I had a black, like a deep blue one that in certain lights it looked almost black. And that was... Ooh, I'm going to use one of these smaller brushes. So I have a smaller brush. Throw that over there. And I'm gonna get a new section of my staining pad. Dip it in. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just kinda of hit it. And this is all the stuff you'll be able to use while you're here. And if you can't get here, oh my gosh, I you can order it online, you can find a local retailer. But this stuff you definitely need. It's kind of like copper. It's just so pretty. And I'm almost kind of just dabbing it down so it looks like little raindrops. I don't know if you can really see it or not. Kind of see a little bit of the shimmer. Hey, Lori. Yeah, a little bit of the replay. I did the raised stencil like we did today. Didn't dry it long enough, so I have a hot mess on the top, which just surprised nobody. And now I'm just kind of doing a little bit of the green iris because you guys made me fall in love with that all over again. All right. So I don't know if you can see the shimmer. Oh, you can. Yeah. There's just like a nice little shimmer of that green iris and it's just so pretty. She's still in the car. What is she still doing in the car? Oh, you guys are still driving, I think is what you mean. Ew. 
All right, so now I'm gonna hit the tops, I think. I don't know, we'll see how this works. Oh yeah. I just have to be a little careful because my ray stencil is still wet. We dry Trish's really well, um, so she can continue with it. This one, not so much, but that's okay. Nobody wants to listen to that heat gun while I'm doing a live anyway. And I'm going to take a little bit out and put it on my work mat because I don't want to ink any of that crust in my green iris. Hit a little bit on this little hat thing that I messed up. And give that a little bit of a shimmer too. And then I'll get down here. I'll flip this around so you can see it a little bit better as I do it. Oops. Well. Just paint. So you just go back through. I put a little bit too much on there, so I'm just going to tone it down with some black. There we go. That's what happens when you use the wrong brush for stuff. You can make these really pretty with um, like the prettier type of paper. Make a pretty pumpkin with maybe some teal and some birds. I have um, skulls and crossbone appliques coming in that I've poured this week and I'll pour some more this weekend. Now I'm just using the edge of my brush and tapping it out so the shimmer gets in there a little bit. Even, I guess, you want to say. Yeah. You'll be home in 15 minutes. Oh, yeah, you guys are still driving. So, look, guys. This fun little witch's hat. I'll just move this up so you can actually see. So this fun little witch's hat in like, I don't know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, a little longer when you're here because you're going to do drying and do it properly. I just kind of push through it. It's got some beautiful little shimmer from the green iris. It's um, hand cut by my husband and it'll be decorated by you. Hey D, it'll be decorated by you. This one will be on display in the shop. These will be available also um, online. To ship out if you want little hats shipped out to you that will be sometime next week as well so it's just something fun that you can do I can put a little hole here or you can put a ribbon through it hang it rest it on rest it on like a mantle or something just something to decorate your house with and now let me show you really quick we played with what was that called sheer smoke um Drish Lori and I we we're None of us have ever seen it. We couldn't figure out what it was. I have not opened a can. I've had it for a little while. So while they were doing their um, their plaques today, I went ahead and stole a little bit of their paint, which was the kale sprout. And then I opened up the sheer smoke antiquing glaze from Paint Couture. And it, it just gives this, I actually like it. I was a little, I was like, I don't know, it's different. But now that it's drying, I don't know if you can see, it gets a little darker in some spots, a little heavier. You can do another coat. You don't wipe this stuff off. I'll show you the jar really quick. I just got really excited about this because we have I've never opened it and Lori was like, what is it? And I'm like, I don't know what it is. So we opened it. Because why not, right? So this will be available for you to use here too, or you could just buy and take some home. They do come in these bigger cans. Um, I say bigger cans, but they're 16 ounce. So they're like this. And I'm gonna have to move the camera down. I can't lift it up, it's a very full can because literally I just opened it. But it's like this liquidy stuff and it's thinner than their normal glaze. It's not stirred all the way. It needs to be stirred again. But um, it's thinner than their normal glaze. Yeah, I'll show you. You know, their Pankator's glaze is a little bit thicker. It's almost like a pudding consistency. 
This stuff is not. This is like thin. So you brush it on. You can still see the color underneath. And it just literally glazes it and makes it gives it a nice antique. It was just so cool. We were all like, wow, we kind of like that. That's pretty. That's neat. So it's amazing what you learn when friends drop in. So I will get um, the email out probably Sunday afternoon regarding the drop-ins. I'm taking my stick out while I'm talking of here. I'm taking my stick out of the can, guys. Um, I will send the email out Sunday. If you're not on my email list and you're local or you just want to know when they get put online, you can go to WeJoArts.shop and that'll... There's like scroll down a little bit and it says join my email and you'll get my emails for my shop to see when new releases are coming out. And um, after I send it out on the email, Monday I'll post it here on Facebook. For those who are not on my email, you'll get notified here on Facebook when the drop-ins and um, a little bit more detail and stuff like that. Or you can just pop in or order the hats, the little cute little pumpkins, I'm going to decorate this one, too, because he messed up on the back. My man. So I'm going to decorate this one, too. This one's going to go also a little bit bigger. So these will be all available. And I think that's everything. I, I'm, we're crafted out. Oh, my gosh. I see a big person. That's got to be Lori because it's blonde hair, long blonde hair with hearts. Um, I think I'm all crafted out today, guys. I don't know about the rest of you. I know Lori and Trisha are probably like, they did not come here expecting to craft. And I was just like, hey, you guys want to do some crafting? And they were like, hey, okay. So we got to spend about two hours together, which was fantastic. So in any case, I will see you guys later. Um, that's my live for tonight. A little discombobulated, but it, that's what we're doing. We're doing witches hats with crust and pink and drawer stuff and all the good things. I know. Isn't it fun, Janet? It's relaxing is what it is. It's like mind, you're just, you just get to relax while you're crafting. And if you pop into one of the stores that have these drop-ins, then you get to craft with friends. Oh, you're late, Brandon? Let me show you. Let me show you. And guess who is here today, Brandon? Lori and Trish. But I just made this little hat. This fun little hat. And I'll be doing this pumpkin. And the cutouts will be available here. So, all caught up. <laughs> Except for the fact that Lori was here and she was... We were wondering if we should get a hold of you and have you drop in. But I think we're going to do that for next time. So, I will see you guys later. And thank you so much. And have a fantastic day. And sorry this is short. I'm going to go home and eat. Talk to you guys later. Bye.